it's second down now. It's White. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Brady now to throw. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down, here's White. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 27, Brady. He completes it right side of White. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll run on first down. Light. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. On second and 11 now. Brady trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. Edelman, the intended receiver that time. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. On the ground, this is Jalen Richard. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Looking to throw on second down. Carr. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Kyle Van Noy in on the stop. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. To throw, it's Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. On first down, Richard. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Carr. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. 34. Bravo. Stop your whining. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52's the mic. Let's get it together, defense. 
to throw his car. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. And he is in, touchdown Raiders. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. On second down, Michelle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there at a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on first and 10. On the ground, this is Michelle. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. On second and nine, Brady. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain there of 21 yards. On first and 10, here's Brady. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And the ball is knocked out, and the Raiders pick it up. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Carr. Man open left side, it's Williams. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brings up third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. On third down, Richard, and he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So right after the defense gets you the ball on a takeaway and a fumble recovery of their own, you've got to reward them, don't you? You've got to stay out on the field, give them a chance to rest, and have about doing it the way they did it, running the football and picking it up on third down. Would not have wanted to go three and out. They avoid that right there. Yeah. Antonio Brown, kiss him goodbye. And all the way in, touchdown, Oakland. Antonio Brown. 51 yards, and the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. 
down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Brady. To the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. Room here to run. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. The Raiders got to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Benjamin Watson there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Carl Joseph. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up. And going to halftime, looking at each other, wondering what if. It's complete to Brown, right side. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. 29. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And a movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. Hey, Wahoo! Here's Carr to throw. Man open left side is Brown. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. On first down, Carr going for it all. And this is going to be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. Here's Brady. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. So after the sack, here's second and 14. To throw is Brady. And Watson has it right side. A gain there of 21 yards. A gain of 21 yards. First down, Patriots. Brady now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. 
Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. The coverage that time, excellent by Nevin Lawson. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. The final shot before half for Brady. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Throwing his car on third down. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Brown. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. I used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. On second and 11 now. Carr got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff to Richard. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Second and five now. Carr. And this is caught at the end. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Antonio Brown. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. They'll try to run it with Jacobs. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. 
Buying time to his left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. That's to his running back, Sony Michel. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 32-yard line. Now a first down carry. It's Michel. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and very short, Brady. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. 23 yards for the touchdown. As his guys are able to pull a bit closer. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field, and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Hey, check it. Switch, switch, switch. Here's Brady to throw. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion. And now we're back to a one-score game. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. At the 21-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Watch 52. 52 the mic. Hey, watch the ball. Working from the gun. It's Carr. And Waller taking it in over the middle. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Carr now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Running the toss here to Jacobs. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Strip the ball. Go, go. 52 is the mic right here, over there, right? 52 is the mic. On second and 12, Carr. And he slings one that's incomplete. J.J. Nelson, the intended target, and it's third down. 
How good has he been throwing the football, though? I mean, despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football and at least more completions for them. Hey, Raider 2. Hey, Echo. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Even after the penalty, still a full seven yards to go on third down. Here's Carr. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. Boy, you talk about not playing it safe. Why were they going for it there, Charles? It's got to be a full evaluation of their team. Do they trust their defense in this situation? Maybe they think they've given all they can in this game and they don't have anything left. Do they not trust that the other team's quarterback is just so hot that it, no matter where they get the ball, they go downfield? Remember when Bill Belichick went for it yeah. in that game, yep. right, against, against Indianapolis yep. on the road? And everybody said, why'd you go for it there? I think he just thought to himself, on the other side, if they hit the ball, they're going down. There he goes, Julian Edelman, the 20. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Julian Edelman with his touchdown. second touchdown of the afternoon. As they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. Wait, All right, now a big two-point conversion oh, attempt still to come. From the gun, it's Brady. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. This is taken about seven yards deep. There goes Harris. The 40. Pass the 20. And the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. Officially, that goes down as a kick return of 107 yards. What a run. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. A big-time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your friends. <laughs> I'll claim them. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. To throw is Brady. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, a 22. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Brady to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Trayvon Mullen. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And the Raiders are in for six. 